All right, so here's an example of a simple CTE that just does a union to return a list that says John, Mary, and Bill. And then we have a second one that's last names that just returns uh, Smith, Gibb, and Jones. And then we use cross-join, and what it does is it combines all the first names with all the last names uh, and makes up a list of three first names combined with all three last names or nine total names. John Smith, Mary Smith, Bill Smith, John Gibb, Mary Gibb, Bill Gibb, and John Jones, Mary Jones, and Bill Jones. That's useful if you need to pro populate a database with a whole bunch of test data, for instance, for load testing or performance testing. All right, let's take a look at the demo code for this. Here's an example of an inner query. We're just going to run that inner query and see what it returns. Select ID department and parent from departments where the department ID equals four. We run that department four is fitness. And this is an example of how to do things without the CTE. And then we'll run that second one where we select ID department and parent from departments. That returns everything. And then we're joining on the ID of one equals the parent on two. But since Q1 was only filtered to fitness, it's going to just return the fitness department with all the fitness sub-departments. Let's take a look at how do we do that with a CTE. Well, similar, we start out with the inner query, select ID department and parent from departments where the ID equals four. That gives us fitness. Then we can select the ID department and parent from departments. We'll just test that piece. That gives us the whole list. And then we do the same inner join and we can join the two of them together and we get the top level of fitness with all the sub departments of yoga, running and swimming listed there as well. Let's take a look at the names example that we saw from the, uh, the slide we saw a minute ago. Here we're gonna select uh, John, Mary, and Bill using union statements to just build us a list of three first names. Now imagine if you'd done that with 20 first names instead of just three. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap that in a CTE where we're just selecting the names out, Bill, John, and Mary. Not that exciting yet. What we're then going to then do is declare the F names for first names, CTE, as John, Mary, and Bill. We're going to declare the last names as Smith, Gibb, and Jones. And then we're going to select the first name and the last name, and we're going to cross-join. And that should create the nine names that I talked about on the slide. And there you have Bill Gibb, John Gibb, Mary Gibb, Bill Jones, John Jones, Mary Jones, and Bill Smith, John Smith, Mary Smith. Now, if you want to make it more interesting, uh, we can throw in some middle names and reformat things a little bit. So the F names is the same, the L names is the same, and the M initials has been added as another CTE where we just added a comma, gave it the name, declared the column, and put a query in, and then we reference that down here. And what that's going to do is take the nine names that we had and give them all middle initials of A, B, or C, and take that nine to 27 rows. And you can see there's the 27 rows.